Now in this session we are going to talk about recurrence relations, generating functions and sequence and series. Okay. So we are going to start off first with understanding what a sequence is. So a sequence is basically a function. Okay. The function is from natural numbers including 0 two real numbers okay that is a sequence so let us suppose I have a sequence as a then I denote it as a0 a1 a2 a3 up till a n if it is a finite sequence okay otherwise I am going to denote it as a0, A1, A2, dot, dot, dot. This is going to go on forever if this is a infinite sequence, okay? Since we are talking about natural numbers, the set has no limit, right? It can go from 1, 2, up till infinity. So, the function can also be having a infinite range, okay? So what is your A0, A1, A2, A3 over here? These are your values of the function at 0, at 1, at 2 and so on. So over here An is equal to value of function A at N. Okay and so on. So this is about what a sequence looks like. Okay. So for example, I can give you an instance. Let us suppose my sequence, let us call the sequence as B. It is like this. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on. So basically it is simply a function which is like this. What is B? B of n is basically 2 raised to n. Okay. So we are going to start with n greater than equal to 1 over here. Okay. So this is going to be my a1. This is going to be my a2. This is going to be my a3. We do not have a a0 over here. Okay. So as we have said it is from n union 0. 0 may be a domain of this function or it may not be a domain as well as we have in this case. Okay. So now we have learned what a sequence is. Let us look at what is a series. Okay. A series is sum of n terms in a sequence. Okay. A series is a sum of n terms in a sequence. Okay. This n can be anything. Okay. This n is not necessarily the sum up till the last term. So let us call it as sum of k terms. Okay. So you don't confuse it with n which is the last term in my sequence. So a series is a sum of k terms in a sequence. So we are talking about consecutive k terms starting with the first term. Okay. So that is a series. So in the example that we have just seen over here a series represented by S3 would be sum of first three terms. Okay. So it is going to be 2 plus 4 plus 8 which is equal to what? It is equal to 14. Similarly S of 6 is going to be equal to sum of first six terms. So this and plus 64. Okay. So that is what a series is. So you now know what is the difference between a sequence and a series. A series is a sum of first k terms of a sequence. Now we are going to see what are generating functions. Okay.